what is up hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day back here with some re4 remake gameplay for you and today well, i'm gonna be talking about the game awards now if you know me personally i've never cared too much for the game awards it's just something that i've never remotely been too invested in but it seems like every single year there's always a new controversy involving them and for me personally i just never really cared that much about them to either think anything's worth even talking about for a controversy because at the end of the day i've never taken them to be that big of a deal anyway it's just awards to prop up the developers and make games it has nothing to do with me the the gamer itself the only reason why i even give them a nod or a notice most of the time is to see if they have a new trailer of something coming out or a reveal or whatever the case may be i know a lot of people have been having that hope that maybe possibly i've been hearing that oh re9 might possibly be revealed at the game awards probably not but who knows maybe it will or maybe something completely different that's the only reason why i'm giving it any care or notice in the world but unfortunately in today's world everything's got to rile up some people and unfortunately this is just another day and gamers getting riled up or pissed off by something so what is the big deal now so we've had game awards and we have obviously categories for game awards and things are split up you know you have i guess you know obviously the big one would be game of the year awards or you have the best game for certain genres or um or certain types of games or whatever the case may be but apparently the game awards the whole place that runs them is basically thinking that you know dlcs expansion packs remakes remasters are you know some of that are they going to be eligible and depending on if a jury whoever they may be um deems them eligible or worthy they can be eligible just about for any category which got people talking oh good god you know what if Elden ring dlc which i've yet to play by the way i've you know, played the main game i highly enjoyed that but just way too many things to play and not enough time to get to but i've heard great things about the dlc of Elden ring but basically people were thinking oh my goodness what if Elden Ring DLC gets nominated for Game of the Year? And considering that the game won Game of the Year two years ago, what if it, by some chance, not only gets nominated, but wins? Like, how does that um, shape for the grand um, um, scheme of things? How does that shape out for everything? What, what impact would that have? Would that be a terrible thing or whatever the case may be? And for me personally... You know, without me getting to how I honestly feel, I'll try to be as objective as possible. Um, do I feel like, for Elden Ring DLC specifically, do I feel like that should be nominated for Game of Year? And that's the, the big one people are talking about. Well, once again, I just look at, you know, how it was viewed. Um, it was reviewed really well. I, you'd be damned it's to find people who didn't like it compared to people who did. People absolutely loved it, had a blast with it. I just feel like based on reception and based on how much people loved it, I feel like with the size of it, I mean, it is a pretty substantial big DLC. I mean, it's kind of like how I used to say with those, um, with the Witcher 3 DLCs, they're so big by themselves, especially the, the last one, the Blood and Wine which I deeply love that one. It's so big, it can be its own game, honestly. It's only a little game within a game. I don't personally have a problem with Elden Ring DLC being nominated, but I know some people are like, hey, it is, by letter of law, it is a DLC, not a completely different game, and I get it. Then it comes down to, like, the next part, where, like, would it fit in, and... Honestly, I believe in terms of its review score to DLC, it, it's like the same overall. So I think it's like a, a 94 overall on the critic scale with like, you know, Astrobot and Metaphor. So by that letter of law, it, it definitely has a good chance, a good argument of being up there. It's highly reviewed. So it would fit in with how many games are not. I don't know how many games are going to be nominated, but, you know, I, I'm pretty sure cer certain games like Astrobot metaphor which is another game unfortunately gonna miss out on just not enough time in a day um final Fantasy 7 rebirth i like to see um silent Hill 2 remake get a nomination but once again i don't know like the threshold of the score because sometimes some games do have high scores but it's also the impact they had as well as you know you know critics and stuff and being talked about so i don't know like 
ultimately like some things you know we've had some things get snubbed some things didn't but at the end of the day the way i just look at it like for, i get to now the whole me part personally and all this and i i just because i see a lot of people fighting like it, it would be such a tragedy the whole game awards credibility would go down the drain I wasn't aware that Game Awards had credibility in the first place. Because, honestly, it's the same thing with movie awards, music awards. I'm just a consumer. I'm just here to buy and play the things and be entertained by the things. I just don't personally care. Like, at the end of the day, I just don't see why people get so fanatic and butthurt over things that don't matter. Like, what difference does it make? One of the big problems I think as gamers as a whole have, and I see this a lot more often in today's world than back then in the glory days, is the fact that it seems like so many gamers are so, like, they're so into these awards and prestigious things and all these accolades for things that they're never going to personally see. They just have this, like, I don't know, possessism or just like this whole whatever you want to call it where it's like they'll have a game and it's like they want their game to get all the awards all the accolades anytime anytime that's threatened they get all like bent out of shape over and it's like buddy it's just a game who cares like you play it to enjoy it like it doesn't matter if it wins all the awards or wins no awards like none of it matters you're not taking any of it home with you none of it the only people that really matters are the people that made the stuff so that they can have the trophy to show it off you're not a part of the team you guys act like you're you're part of this whole thing. You're basically Christian Leitner on the Dream Team. You're just there, just as a fin, you know finality. It's just there as a you know part of the process. But you're not a part of the team. And I'm sorry if you feel that way, but you know you're not on the team. It just reminds me a lot of like sports fans. They get so upset and overly emotional. It's like the only people that should get over emotional are the people actually on the team playing, getting beat down, broken working their butts off to achieve something you're not on a team you're just a jackass cheerleader in the stands waving your pom bombs, thinking you're more important than you actually are so getting back to the game awards i don't care if they nominate elden ring dlc in the game of your category fine if they don't fine if they nominate it and it wins fine i don't care i'm gonna go to bed the same way i normally do and i'm gonna wake up the same way i normally do regardless of what it does because i've heard this argument last year with the remakes you know it should RE4 Remake been nominated for Game of the Year. You know, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't care. You know, it's not a big deal. I remember, I believe RE2 Remake was also nominated for Game of the Year during the um, 2019 award stuff. So, at the end of the day, I, I just, whatever. It is what it is. Let them do whatever the heck they want to do. The only thing I care about in the Game Awards is any new announcements or new trailers. That's it. Okay, and if you don't really have any of that, whoopie do. I don't care. I mean... How many game awards have they had? And not one of them do I ever remember be like, oh, that's the year this game won. That's the um, year that this game won that. That's the year. I don't remember any of them. But as I always like to say, that is my opinion. I want to hear your guys' opinion. What is your whole thought process in terms of DLC, remasters, remakes, regardless of what they may be expansion passes should they have their own category or should they be allowed to be nominated in any category or is there very specific special cases is elden ring dlc one of those special cases should it be allowed to be in the game of the year category let me know down in the comment section down below and also personally let me know what is your personal game of the year for the year 2024 but that is going to be it hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and hopefully i see you guys back on the next one thanks and i'll see you all later peace